Hey folks, welcome to part 16 of the Tableau Desktop Specialist Practice Exam Series. Let's get started with our first question. So, in Tableau, what is the result of blending multiple data sources? Uh, a new single data source is created. Related data from multiple sources is displayed together. Data is summarized into a single table or data integrity is automatically checked. Which of these is it going to be? So first of all, of course, what is blending? So for this, we're gonna to refer to the Tableau documentation, um, which talks about uh, ultimately different options to combine data uh, as it relates to Tableau visualization. So really there are at least three different ways. So you have something called relationships, which if you remember that has to do with uh, the logical layer. Uh, if you look at joins, that's another example that's talking about the physical layer. And then you have blend. So what is the difference? Well, when you talk about relationships, uh, it's really, as you can see, the default method and can be used in most instances, including across tables with different levels of detail. So long story short, depending on your view, um, Tableau is smart enough to establish those relationships based on the level of granularity. Uh, with joins, it's gonna be a little bit more focused. So it's gonna be um, based on row. So that, that connection that's happening, it's on a row by row basis. Uh, and then finally, you have something called a blend. And as you can see here, unlike relationships or joins, uh, what blends do is they never actually combine the data directly. So unlike these two options where you're actually bringing in data together from multiple sources, uh, with blends, you're not really bringing data together. You're not combining them directly. However, what you are doing with a blend, uh, what it does is it, it uh, essentially queries each data source independently it then aggregates the results to the appropriate level and then it presents the results together visually within the view. So as it relates to this question, right, all these different options, a new single data source is created. That's not going to be the correct, uh, correct solution because we're not working with a single data source, first of all, and nothing is being created. Remember, it's not combining data into one data set and then displaying it. It's aggregating the data at each, each respective data source. And then uh, within your visualization, it is injecting it accordingly. Second option, related data from multiple sources is displayed together. That's exactly what's happening. Again, it's not combining data. All it's doing is that related data is being displayed together from multiple sources. That's, that's what we saw here with this definition. Next option, data is summarized into a single table. Again, we're not bringing, we're not moving data at all whatsoever. So we're not summarizing data into a single table. All it's really doing is displaying data in such a way that from multiple sources, it's gonna relate the data then display. Last option, data integrity is automatically checked. This has nothing to do with data integrity or anything of that effect. All it has to do with is you have data source A, data source B. You wanna be able to show that data in a particular sheet at any given time. It's just gonna help you see that data uh, the way that you want to. So again, the only correct solution here is gonna be the second option. By the way, if you do enjoy videos like this, consider liking the video and subscribing for more content just like this. Next question, true or false, you can join tables in Tableau using custom SQL queries. So unlike what we saw here, which just talks about joins within Tableau, this is referring to uh, joining tables using custom SQL queries. So is that something you can do? We're gonna go into Tableau and again, just to kind of demonstrate, um, I'm gonna differentiate between the, uh, the join within Tableau Tableau's own UI as opposed to a custom SQL query. So we're connected to the sample superstore data set here. So obviously it's not a connection to a database. So just keep that in mind. But if I wanted to join maybe people with something and I'm in the physical layer, I can drag uh, any particular table here. And uh, once I do that, once I drag and drop uh, orders, for example, and as you can see, now you have the Venn diagram again, that's indicative of, oh, I have an inner join based on you know the, the blue that you see in the middle here. And it's joining uh, basically on the region specifically. So that's how you would go about setting up a join within Tableau. But that's not what this question is talking about. Remember, it's talking about custom SQL queries. So how do you get to that? Well, again, we're connected to the sample superstore data set. So what I'm gonna actually have to do is uh, uh, essentially connect to 
a new data source. So I'm going to go over here, type in my SQL and I will, and I'm going to connect to a local instance. So let me go ahead and get that set up. Now, as you can see, I'm actually connected to a local instance of my SQL and I have a few tables to select from, but I also have this option of new custom SQL query, because again, we're now connected to an actual database. And now you can pretty much do anything that you would normally be able to do in SQL. So if you're aware, obviously you can perform a join in SQL. So if I have two tables, I'm not going to do it here, but you know, you could do something to the effect of, uh, you know, selecting from table A and then you can join to uh, table B on whatever your, uh, whatever the condition or uh, the particular key is. So A dot ID equals B dot parent ID, whatever it is, right? So yes, you're definitely able to do that in a custom SQL query. Uh, just be mindful that you do have to be connected to uh, a database ultimately for that option to even be available. So this is going to be true. Next question, true or false, Tableau's LOD expressions cannot aggregate data beyond the visualization level. What is this saying? Well, it's saying Tableau's level of detail calculations they can really only aggregate data at whatever level of granularity that you're looking at within the visualization. And to demonstrate that and to prove which one's the correct answer, again, we're gonna go into Tableau. I already had um, this open here, a sheet, right? So we're looking at uh, category and sum of sales, and let's go back to sample superstore over here. And I think in a recent video, we actually did cover this because I, I did have category sales, right? So I'm gonna drag that over here. Now, what is category sales? It's a calculated field that we created together in one of these videos, and specifically, it is an LOD expression. So what it's saying is give me the sum of sales at a category level. So it's fixating on that particular granularity, right? And what we're looking at in this visualization, right? We're looking at a category level, and then I have this field, the category sales, right? The LOD expression. And then I just have sales, right? Sales from the, the data source itself. Now what's interesting, because if I open up category and I drill down and now I can see subcategory, you can see that you know the sales is actually dynamic, right? So based on the granularity of the view, whether it's sub, uh, subcategory manufacturer, these numbers are going to be, they're gonna essentially change. This column's gonna change based on the granularity because now we're looking at a combination of furniture and bookcases and Atlantic, and that's what the 18,000 number here represents. But you'll notice that the category, right, the category here, that does not change. That's pretty much static at the category level. If I scroll down, that's gonna change once my category changes, right? So furniture, 754,000. Office supplies, 731,000. So that's no longer dynamic. And the reason why is it's, it's able to look beyond the level of granularity within this visualization. So Tableau's LOD expressions cannot aggregate data beyond the visualization level. This is false because they can. They absolutely can, as we just saw. Category over here, it was able to look beyond this level of granularity as it relates to category plus subcategory plus manufacturer. Because category says regardless of what level I'm looking at, I was told as part of this LOD expression to just look at the category level, so that's what I'm gonna do. So that's the solution here. Next question, which Tableau capability is used to sequence a narrative of visualizations for presentation purposes? Is it going to be dashboard stories, workbooks, or reports? A lot of these might look like the correct solution, but they all serve a different purpose. So uh, for purposes of this question, I'm gonna go into this documentation, which talks about stories, right? And I know a lot of you have worked with worksheets, dashboards, workbooks in general, um, which is a collection of you know all of your dashboards and worksheets and stories, but we never really covered stories. So in Tableau, a story is a sequence of visualizations that work together to convey information. You can create stories to tell a data narrative, provide context, demonstrate how decisions relate to outcomes, or simply to make a compelling case. Why this is powerful is because you can structure your story in such a way, and you have these different story points, right? All these little boxes. You can have a dashboard, you can have a worksheet, what have you, and it, it helps you tell a story because you can kind of go step by step, such as how they demonstrate here in this timeline, right? So you can go step by step and really persuade your audience to kind of 
really influence them to uh, follow the narrative that you're trying to suggest. So the solution here is going to be stories. And again, just to demonstrate real quick, you can do that here. So this kind of, this book icon essentially where it says new story, we're gonna open up a new story. And again, you can drag a, a worksheet or a dashboard in here. You can have uh, a secondary sheet over here, third, you, you know, do whatever you want basically. But really it's powerful because you can kind of toggle through these, right? So you have view number one, view number two, view number three. Similar to how maybe in a PowerPoint or Google Slides, you can kind of um, show one visualization at a time and kind of tell a story. So that's really the power of a uh, story. So again, that's gonna be the solution here. And Quick pause. If you like these videos, but you're serious about acing the Tableau Desktop Specialist Practice Examiner Certification, I've got news for you. Check out the link in the description if you're interested in practicing with an even more realistic set of practice exam questions. There are at least five different practice exams, 45 questions each, with the proper distribution of exam topic areas. You'll know exactly which questions you got right or wrong and what the correct solutions were. Now there are a limited number of spots available so be sure to take advantage of the limited time offer because as you know practice makes perfect. And that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. As always be sure to like the video if you haven't already. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and of course as always I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Yeah.